The narrative of this case has been simple. It's about 30 minutes in Potsdam. It was around 5 o'clock. I got a phone call. Something's happened to Garrett. I have both units on scene with an unresponsive 10-year-old male. The scene was handled as a crime scene. The mother is Tandy Cyrus. Tandy's ex-boyfriend, Nick Hillary, was suspicious. Garrett didn't like him. Those two butted heads. We have a strong suspect at this point. You're going to hear the six in the way of your relationship. You've got some problems. Hillary is responsible for Garrett's death. No doubt in my mind, he did it. Nick Hillary. 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 Next the guy. I'm 100% certain. Am I living in a dream right now, or this is really happening? As a person of color, you're told, don't talk to the police. Nick called me saying, the cops won't let me leave. You don't strip search someone naked for anything. You do have to raise questions as to why they chose Nick Hillary. He's right out of a movie. Nick's dating the sheriff's ex-girl. You have John Jones holding Tandy's hand. There have been theories that Garrett had been horsing around with friends. Those theories are pushed aside. There's no match for the DNA, nothing tying Nick to the crime. Prosecutors don't want to solve this case. They want to get a conviction. To tell you I'm scared would be an understatement. Either Nick Hillary did this or someone else did this. Either one of those options are frightening. Justice for Garrett is seeking the truth.